I wasn't he built for this kind of thing. Excellent work dispatching that seed. Thanks to you, the manor is a little more neat and tidy. All well-earned praise aside, since that meddlesome test subject is finally out of my hair, I have no further reason to remain here. <laughs> it's been nothing if not entertaining. Until we meet again. Exterminators. That smug asshole. Next time I see him, I'm ramming my fist right through his face. Agreed? Agreed. <laughs> we best get going. The terminal's waiting.
to the cat drag den. Hey there. Uh. So, find that terminal? Let's just say we got a little sidetracked. Well, we can but try again. No sense stewing on past mistakes. Uh, right. Core's a bit grim, you know. Doesn't matter. Who are you? Vincent Valentine. I'm. Security. Uh. Why are you here? Vickery. Your terminal. Mm hmm. Have the authorization at least. Oh, great. <laughs> Though you're clearly not Murasaki. Explain yourself. Ah, uh, it's a bit of a long story, and we'd love to tell you all about it. But there's something we really need to look up first. Can't go letting our foe win the information war, eh? Your foe? And who might that be? A man who many people, myself included, once called a hero. Sephiroth. He's insane, and he's after something so powerful, it could destroy the planet unless we stop him. I see. unlocked use it as you see fit mr. Murasaki don't mind if we do I guess Still got that key card. Gonna need a bit of time with this. 
Might I suggest a spot of recon? What's wrong? Nearly there. here. Why should I? He's trespassing, like you. Save it. I've had a pretty shit day. What a coincidence. So have I. your story. Vincent Valentine, former pup. I stumbled on your file in the company database. There's a reason you're alone in the dark down here, and that reason has something to do with Sephiroth. Am I right? <coughs> That's none of your business. I only ask because you might want to come with us. I don't know whether Sephiroth is dead or alive or something in between. But I do know that if I stick with this lot, I'll find out one way or another. Is this how you want your story to end?
will be your way out then. Now we know where the temple is, let's not bother the man. Hey, space cadet. Come on. There might be top secret material hidden somewhere here. Uh, is that all you ever think about? Well, excuse me for trying to be helpful. It could go down. Hmm? Oh. Oh, it's on. So, <laughs> where is it? Hi. About that. What's the matter? You ain't been bluffing this whole time, have you? No, that's not it. We could go there right now if you really wanted. Hmm? But before that, would you mind a quick trip to the saucer? What? Why would we want to go there? To even set foot inside the temple, we'll need to get our hands on a relic called the Keystone. Trouble is, it's been missing for nigh on 20 years. So, any guesses as to where it was last seen? The Gold Saucer. I know, it's a stretch, no denying that. But it's the only lead I've got. Then let's follow it. We trust you. You do? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Well, if we gotta, once we're good, let's get a move on. Right.
What's this? going with you so back off <laughs> you misunderstand i'm defying my boss to be here because i've got a hunger that cannot be denied Desire to see you has driven me on. That's what I get for redlining the old engine. All right, my friend, it's the final lap, so let's con it one last time. He's mine. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. I won't have your pity. This is a race, remember? Come on, Cloud. We're on the home stretch. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, 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 
civilization. That won't happen to you. Don't worry. Yeah, she's right. You're gonna be just fine. Come on. The gilded saucer awaits. And the keystone. My name is Glenn Rodbrock, a representative of Wutai's interim government. The hour is upon us, when we must rise up to confront tyranny. Mere days ago, Hunan's cannon rang out. A message, a declaration by Shinra's new president that he, like his father before him, would rule by fear. What's more, we recently learned that he had sanctioned the development of living weapons grown within the Mako reactors that provide power to your homes. Alarmed, we decided to seek answers. And in accordance with the ceasefire treaty, our government sent officials to investigate. Shinra promised their full cooperation. But when our inspectors duly arrived, they were mercilessly slaughtered. The footage you are about to see was taken from inside one of the reactors. what Rufus Shinra calls a ceasefire. Friends, we do not have our enemy's military might. Nevertheless, a righteous fury burns in each of our hearts. A fire that we may carry to Midgar. And there, together, Put the city of Mako and Misery to the torch! This is our answer, Rufus Shinra. We are ready to march. And to lead us, Wutai's commander, Viceroy Saru. Exactly is this Saru? The invisible man? Regrettably, we have no intelligence to present at this time. <laughs> then you clearly aren't looking hard enough. Look harder. Ma'am. What about that Glenn? What's his name? Glenn Ladbrock, ma'am. Ex soldier. P0 class, a prototype. Fifteen years ago, he was sent to Rador on a geological survey, which ended in failure and led to his defection. <laughs> a spineless deserter nursing a grudge, then. Subsequently, Ladbrok took to the road, seeking to forge connections with others who shared his anti-Shinra sentiments. <laughs> if you mean avalanche, they're dead and buried. I'm afraid I do not, sir. The fall of the Republic triggered a spate of uprisings in the surrounding regions. We suspect the SRC is largely comprised of forces who were defeated during the unrest. Well, who could blame them? They fought against the Republic in the name of freedom. But when the smoke finally cleared, 
they found themselves under the heel of a new oppressor. Why, I'd be more surprised if they didn't hate us. Pity about Saruk. Would be good to put a face to the name. The Ancient is en route to the temple as we speak. Pursuing her is our top priority. She will guide us to the promised land. One way or another. Hmm. Mm. Regarding the speech, sir, many will interpret it as a declaration of war. And given that it was a worldwide broadcast, it would be prudent to issue a response. I intend to make a statement. Sung, if you would. Sir. supposed to get back to the saucer want all the mountains and valleys in between definitely not on foot it's just way too far thoughts kick set hey cat thoughts huh? um well you see look smoke Maybe someone's trying to call for Sid? If so, let's hitch a ride. Whew. Breaking news at this hour. Breaking news at this hour. In response to last night's illegal broadcast by the FRC, President Lucas Breaking news. To last night's illegal broadcast by the FRC, President Luca Chimra held an emergency press conference this morning. Hey! In it, the president... Stood up? Nope. Waiting on you folks. Something I wanted to ask. About your mother. Her name's Epona, right? Maybe. So what? That sounds like a yes to me. I called it the second I saw you. Boy, am I ever glad I sent up smoke. Tell me, how's she doing? Good? No. She's dead. <clears throat> you know... The whole reason I joined Shinra was to become a pilot. But I wound up as a gopher for some lazy grease monkeys. Had me running around HQ fixing lights and whatnot. One time, though, I came across a pretty young thing with a little girl in her arms. That was you, wasn't it? Probably. <laughs> you were knee-high to a tonberry. And I was what? Oh, the smogger, I'd wager. <laughs> but damn. No longer with us. That's a crying shame. Truly. Hey, Missy. It's Aerith. Aerith. Is there anything I can do for you? I want to help. What? Why? Uh, just trying to do right by you. <laughs> Flying us around will be more than plenty. Thanks. Then again, if you're 
just die in the hell. You could take us to the saucer for free. Free? It's fine, we'll pay. Now it's on me. When you want to head to the saucer, just give me a holler. Hey, good to go? Let's get a move on then. <laughs> You said that Sephiroth is your foe. I have a history with him. Unfinished business. Hmm? He bothering you? Want me to give him the boot? You try to screw us over, and you're a dead man. Do you think you can manage eight? Ain't gonna lie. That's a tall order for most pilots. <sighs> Lucky for you, I ain't most pilots. when Sephiroth shows up. Nobody wins. Uh, on a related note, if war is officially declared, it will be long before borders start closing. So, if you've got somewhere to be, you might want to get a wee shuffle on. What the? Sid? Hey, Sid? I heard you the first time. Just sit tight. Everything's under control. <laughs> you can swim away from. <laughs> you almost killed us!
Okay, let's start her up. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, but the wings are still broken. And what of it? Only one man has mastered the land, air, and sea. You're looking at it. You got that? Okay, so? So, you can think of me as the captain of your ship. Strap on in and we'll punch through the chop. Aye, aye. aye. <laughs> Let's set sail. Straight through the ravine and on to Costa del Sol. And after that, we <laughs> Sounds like a plan. We'll be there before you know it. Let's set a course for Costa del Sol, sir. Roger that. Full speed ahead. Hey, mind filling us in on the keystone before we arrive? Gladly. But wait a minute, man. One of the more eccentric colleagues convinced the company to build a museum for his antiques. The reliquary, they called it. Pretty cool, eh? Now, according to company records, the keystone was housed there. Wait a sec. I thought you said it was at the gold saucer. Aye, I'm getting to that. Did it break? There was it. Oh, right. So, the museum turned out to be a total flop. Closed as soon as it opened. But, somewhere between cutting the ribbon and boarding up the windows, what's appealing about the skies. Got them all to myself. Rats can have their race in the gutter. Never much cared for the squeaking anyways. <laughs> I miss the wild blue yonder dearly. I hope Johnny's all filled up by now. And that his hotel has found its, uh, sea legs. Bad chance. Kid probably got gripped. Thank you for choosing Bronco Cruises. We sincerely hope you enjoyed your trip with us. Cruises? I thought it was Bronco Airlines. Not after his wings got clipped. <laughs> Seriously, we really appreciate you ferrying us around. You're most welcome. Hey, y'all are headed to the saucer, ain't you? I might could tag along, take in the splendor. What do you think? Of course. Girl always knows just what to say. Am I right? Shall we? <laughs> Wait a sec. Where's Vincent? Up there. Another loner. As if one wasn't enough of a pain in my ass. Yeah, one's more than enough. You mean me? <laughs> 